So as you can see, there's quite a wide range of agencies providing support at, at different levels. And the issue for you as smaller organisations in many cases is how do you tap into this? And I'm going to give you some uh, examples of that very, very shortly. Um, anybody here a startup business? Just stick your hand up if you're a startup business. Any of you? Yeah, one or two of you. Um, here are some very, very useful uh, websites to look at. I'd say the best app of these is the second one, startups.co.uk. Um, another one, particularly if you've got intellectual property um, or you're a tech startup, um, is from the British Library. Is that who you've got support from, Adam? Yes. British yeah, Library. They're, they're brilliant. Do you rate it? Is it any good? Exceptionally highly. Best way yeah. to ever walked into it. Yeah, so there, there, there you go. Uh, that's the British Library. Um, you can go to events that are free. You can even book time with advisors that are free for the British Library. Um, other ones that J for B grants, I'll come back to that a bit later, but that's a, a, a website that provides uh, information on all different types of funding, one of the few that there are. Uh, again, another one under that is an organisation called Enterprise Nation. If you're a new business, then you really ought to look at their website. They've been managing the growth vouchers programme, which I'm going to come back to in a minute. Um, there's a couple of other ones there, the great... Uh, uh, Business, which is a government website which provides support, and Startup Donut, which provides a lot of technical support for new businesses. So all of those I would strongly recommend, and the clients I've worked with um, have found all of those sources very, very useful. Um, but of course the key question here is where is the money? You know, um, I've given you a, a very brief overview, but of course you know, on a day-to-day -day business we all need finance to survive. Uh, where is it? So these are my top five sites. The first one is called Funding Central. Um, all the ones that I'm highlighting um, are free, by and large. I'll po point out those that aren't free. Um, some have different levels of access, but Funding Central has 4,500 funding sources uh, registered on it. Um, you do a customised search, it's supported by the government, and, and was set up uh, with a £2 million grant from the big lottery fund initially. The second one, j b Grants, is a private sector uh, organisation. You can get one level of free support, and if you want uh, a higher level of support, you have to pay. Um, again, that's for any type of organisation, whether you're a business, whether you're a community organisation, whether you're a sole trader. And uh, startups have already mentioned, for any new business or sole trader, that is a very, very good place to start. If you're a community organisation or a non-profit making organisation, that's probably the best website there is apart from Funding Central. Trustfunding.org.uk, that's managed by an organisation called the uh, Directory of Social Change. And they uh, manage a lot of non-profit making websites. And finally, from those people from schools and education projects, uh, this website I can't recommend too highly. Grants for schools. Um, you know, it, it, it does what it, what, it, what it says on the tin, and you can get a month's free support on that. You get a month's research, and then you have to pay um, after that. But it's a very, very good website. There are others. I'm going to touch on them later, but those are the top five. If you if you want to start somewhere, uh, use those, particularly Funding Central, because it is free, and you can do a customised search. <laughs> Um, let's look at some particular examples that are still available. Now, this is for people who want to access um, broadband services. It's called Connection Vouchers. Anybody heard of this? Um, you, if you work from home, or if you're a community organisation, uh, or a registered charity, or a social enterprise, or a sole trader, you can get a grant of up to £3,000 to install uh, broadband. Um, at home or, or in your office. Not widely known about it. It's through all the major suppliers, uh, Virgin Media, BT, etc., etc. Um, that's the information there. Again, we've helped a few of our clients access that as well, because obviously high speed broadband now uh, is particularly important. It doesn't apply in every area, and they are spreading it, so you, you put your postcode in on the website when you go into it, they will tell you whether you're eligible or not to access funding. 
Loan funding, I'm not going to talk too much about this because Zoe's going to uh, mention something about this later, but there are a whole range of organisations that will provide loan funding from Zoe's organisation, Bright Ideas Trust, to um, an organisation called the Princes Trust. Anybody heard of that one? Yeah, simply you've heard that, started up by Prince Charles, um, and a, a range of others that will provide loan funding. Like any other loan funding, it's subject to terms and conditions. Often the terms and conditions are that you have to be turned down for a loan by a mainstream bank, you know, which is not hard, is it? Let's face it. So, uh, um, you know, uh, there are a lot of loan funding programs around. Uh, people obviously would prefer grant funding, but this is a, uh, an alternative to that. So there's a range of options available, and we can advise you on that as well.